A cruel disease that leaves no comfort for those dying and for those left behind. In the chaotic hospital wards around the world, tens of thousands of patients are dying alone, without their families by their side, to avoid the risk of COVID-19. For the patients, it's been a terrible experience. They have been taken away from their families. Many of them died. We had 605 deaths and it is extremely stressful to remain in the hospital and not even recognize nurses and doctors who are hidden behind this mask and these glasses. It is very stressful for the family, certainly very stressful for those who cannot stay next to their loved ones who are being treated. Disinfectants are spread on coffins, a new reality of death in some countries. In Italy, where hundreds are dying every day, funeral services are banned. Just the blessings of priests in empty churches. The global lockdowns and restrictions have altered the way people grieve, no matter their culture or religion. This virus took religion out of the equation. My poor families, the Christian families can't go to churches. The Muslim families can't go to mosque. The Jewish families can't go to uh, the temple. They can't have people gather. In China, where more than 3,000 people died because of coronavirus, sirens wailed. And people came together for one day of collective expression of grief. Lockdowns are changing ancient rituals and funeral customs. Some are using video calls and live streaming apps to bring communities together to honor the dead. Death and, and grieving and all the uh, rituals that go into that, uh, it's a very social uh, event, uh, typically. Uh, and so to have uh, so many deaths going uh, unwitnessed or uh, unritualized in, in the ways that we're, we're used to, uh, I think is going to be something that, that results in, in a, lack of, a sense of lack of closure. The world is going through unprecedented changes during this crisis. For many, it's a time of mourning and loss, but perhaps hoping for better days ahead. Priyanka Gupta, Al Jazeera.